Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching Wednesday, season one, episode six. This next episode is called Quid Pro Quo. I mean, I re are we doing some sort of favor with someone? I don't know. I'm just very excited to jump back into this show. I was sick last week, so I couldn't watch it. And I've been dying to watch this because I want to know so badly, like the mystery and what's going on. It was pure torture. I was just like thinking about it. I was like, oh my God, I just really so badly want to keep watching this show. So we're finally here and I'm very, very excited. In the previous episode, we finally learned about what happened with Gomez and Morticia and about the kid who died here so many years ago, but we still don't know who who killed the coroner and I mean we know why right because they wanted Gomez to go down for the murder I still think it's Marilyn like Marilyn is the sister of the kid who died and I'm wondering if she is also the one who killed the coroner so that she could have Gomez put in jail but now he's been let out but there's no way Marilyn knows why right because the truth was only told to the mayor and I'm assuming the mayor isn't actually gonna air it out so he just dropped the charges against Gomez so I wonder if Marilyn is going to escalate because in her mind justice wasn't served yet again or if she's going to go after Wednesday in a way of like take something from Gomez the way he took something from her right so I'm just very excited right because I feel like that's the theory I'm like so sure about like I'm so sure that Marilyn is the sister so I just I just want to be right okay and I don't know in what episode we're going to find that the truth about her we also didn't have any actual monster stuff in the previous episode so I wonder if we're going to continue with it in this one because I'm very excited to find out who the monster is is with the DNA test being inconclusive I genuinely don't know is it Tyler or not like that is my number one suspect at the moment but I feel like I keep wavering about it so we'll see I hope we get some more clues in this episode so yeah if you guys are interested you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my patreon the link is gonna be in the description down below and let's just jump straight into it oh my god what's she up to is she asking for like goodies help in case you're wondering I don't yes. hold seances very often. <gasps> it is for Goody, isn't it? Goody is the only one that can train me to control my psychic ability. The sooner That's I'm exciting. That. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, it's working. Oh, that's Enid, isn't it? Hey, Goody. I was reaching into the Black Maw Def to contact a relative. Feels very on brand for you. you <laughs> it really does. You thought about using one of my scented candles? The aroma of steak tartare is to die for. Steak tartare? <laughs> that is not what I would want my room to smell like. What died? Smells like childhood. Come on. <laughs> Second thoughts? Why don't I just stay out here? Are you sure outside is better than on the inside? Because outside is usually where the monster lurks. Oh, yeah. like that. Was whispering. Try anything and you'll lose limbs. Surprise! What? Happy birthday to you. No way, it's her birthday. Birthday to you. Thing. Oh my god, it's wearing a little hat. Happy birthday to you. That is so sweet. I'm sure she hates it, but it's actually so sweet. Fire will rain when I rise. Okay, that's not really a wish. <laughs> First part of that phrase was burned on an Evermore song. Yes, we remember. That was iconic. Like a descendant of him or the actual Joseph Crackstone is coming? To stop Crackstone, this place we must seek. What is this place? You end up alone, unable to trust others, only seeing the darkness within them. Is that supposed to scare me? It's no. Oh, it's supposed to intrigue you and make you happy. You get to be alone for the rest of your life. Looked like you were having a seizure. I wasn't that lucky. Can I at least get some kudos for pulling one over on you? Yeah, that was a good job. Ew, that's so gross. I would have preferred live squirrels. It's like, I love to kill them. Wow, we're still accepting presents. She got her something in, that's so cute. What is it? It's a snood, silly. I made it in your signature colors. We can wear them together to class. Oh, Enid, this is- That is so cute. I suggest we wait for a more special occasion. Like a funeral. <laughs> you still think I'm the monster? Haven't ruled it out. Yeah, I have, like, so long ago. This self-help app, Morning Song, said he could help me refocus my life. 
usually I call BS on something like that. Yeah, it's BS. You got sucked into a cult. Because you are just the type they're looking for. Guessing Them? that's not a compliment. Mm -hmm. I'll be at the weather vane later if you want to stop by. Maybe Ooh, we can. a little bit of romance between these two. I haven't always been against birthdays. Each one reminds me I'm a year closer to death's cold embrace. So that's good, right? What's not to like about that? <laughs> me. Perfect surprise. Oh my god, what I... Oh my... Oh god! The perfect cake. Okay, that is an incredible cake. Oh. Oh no, I don't like that whatsoever. Oh my god, why would you do something like that? I am not looking. That is nasty AF. Who's Goody? How does she know that? Sounds like she doesn't see you for who you really are. She sees more than you know. What what's happening here? I'm so confused. Feeling some modicum of guilt for his condition. If I didn't ask for a free session, consider it my birthday gift. <laughs> what? What's wrong with the flowers? What's happening? Why is she Acting so shady. Copy of an old death certificate you requested. Oh, thanks, Agnes. Laurel Gates. Is that the sister? Yeah, it was Gates who died. So that's the sister. He thinks the sister's alive. And she is! And it's Marilyn! I know it. Who do you think delivered the cake? Yeah, I went with the 98% dark chocolate ganache, knowing your preferred color palette. That is so sweet. I love him. Don't be the monster, please. Come on, don't you like a day? It's all about you. Every day is all about me. This one just comes with cake and a bad song. I love her so much. If I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? Yes. I have a tight deadline. <sighs> Emphasis on dead. I feel like ever since the raven, you've kind of been ghosting me. Am I wrong? What? Does she suspect him or is she scared that he might get hurt as well the same way Eugene got hurt? All right, well, I'll make sure I put out an APB on a dead pilgrim. I figured since you no longer have an old vendetta to obsess over, you're free to solve some real crime. She did not. Bing is such a little shit stirrer. That's <laughs> so awkward for Savior. Okay, listen. It's very good though. I'd really like it. I can hear you up there playing. Oh, that is so cool. Aren't you a boyfriend? Definitely not. That's sure. so sad. No matter how hard I try, there will always be people who look down on me. My mission is to prove her wrong. Love that for her. Yes, I was angry that my dad was humiliated on outreach day. Let me pay back. But then after we did it. That makes sense. Kind of felt like crap. Good. <gasps> we're here. Oh, we're here. This is where Garrett Gates lived. Oh, I don't like that that's open. The sheriff told me his family died, along with their legacy of hate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Goody showed me this house for a reason. I need to unlock its secrets or die trying. OK, that's so dramatic. <gasps> There's someone inside. Is it Marilyn? Oh, it's the mayor. He's also investigating. Did he find anything? Listen, I might have figured out who's behind all of this. He knows it's Marilyn. <gasps> She's getting in the car. I don't know how he didn't hear that. Closing a trunk is so loud. <laughs> oh my god. Marilyn? Is that Marilyn? How did she know? How did she know that he knew? But when someone is run over on the way to give the police key information, it usually means they were onto something. Yep, yep, signs, yep, yep. They're all dead, every last one of them. And I don't believe in ghosts. Maybe you should. Yep, I believe in ghosts. It's the ghost of the little gate sister. How do you manage to end up at the center of every terrible thing that happens around here? Incredible luck. <laughs> As of now, the school is on full lockdown. And your off-campus privileges are revoked until further notice. Hey, but we're investigating a murder. Wednesday. I just heard what happened to Mayor Walker. Are you oh all right? Oh my god, I... I just heard it. I can't imagine witnessing something like that. Oh, I'm sure you can't. So you're only looking out for my best interests? Always. I think we're a lot alike. I don't think she is. Or your pity. I already have a mother and a therapist. That's enough torture, even for me. Don't be mean to her. She's a murderer. She could kill you. The non-birthday dinner. Really? 
that's great. Um, I feel bad for Tyler. He's so excited to like spend time with her and she's just using him for whatever she needs. The kind of girl's gonna get you hurt, leave me under the type. Is that supposed to be about mom? Ooh, wait, what's not. mom like? No. Is mom a little bit of a bad girl? I can't deal with this right now. Yeah, when can you ever deal with it, dude? Did you ever even love her? Ooh. When you could ever know. Oh, I thought he was shaking his head as no. What happened to the mom? Do we know? I don't remember if we know or not. Is she dead or is she just gone? I've been thinking about my less than enthusiastic response to your surprise soiree. And I must admit, I regret not showing my gratitude towards you more appropriately. Okay, that's some progress. What's the catch? If only there were a way for us to get off campus and have a little birthday redo. Just two best friends. Best day, just be honest with your friends. Don't use them like this. Oh my god! Wait, he's our Uber driver? Uber driver? I thought we were going on a date. Oh, Wednesday! You want to go in there? This place is creepy AF. I know. Yep. <laughs> She's so excited about it. I didn't want to celebrate my birthday by going to dinner or a surprise party. I want to go to the haunted mansion. I want to do this. Then you should have just said so. That's what I'm Didn't saying. Why isn't she honest? It's really shitty that she manipulated and lied to these two to get them here. I'm sure they would have come if she had just said what was up. Okay, let me try. Nice trying, dude. This is pointless. Can I try? <gasps> Let's go in it! She's gonna open it like this. Oh. Uh, yeah, she's so strong. This is the car that hit the mayor. Okay, this just took a dark turn. We need to call- And you must be Laurel. They're all mm -hmm. long gone. So mm -hmm. the question- She's so long gone. <gasps> Is there like a secret room behind this bookcase? Oh. Seen enough? Why are you just standing there like that, Tyler? <gasps> yes, press it. Press it. Is it gonna open something? Oh, that one isn't covered in cobwebs. That is so cool. I love it. Oh, oh my, wait a minute. Are they like descendants of Crackstone? Blood will rain when I rise. Oh, it's not fire will rain. Interesting. Ina and I will search upstairs. We will. Oh, sweetie. Also, I don't like that we left Tyler alone. Is he gonna be okay? Wednesday, you need to see this. <gasps> what did she find? Okay, we're good, we're safe. The bed's made. No dust or cobwebs. Is this Laurel's room? LG? Yeah, Laurel Gates. It's Marilyn! I know it! It's not possible. Yeah, it she is. 25 years ago, drowned overseas. <gasps> oh my god. Let's go. Is Tyler okay? Is <gasps> oh my god! So it's not Tyler, right? Because we heard the monster and Tyler at the same time. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god! Stop. God, our lives are at risk. Leave the snoot behind. <gasps> oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, what is inside this jar? On second thought, I don't wanna know. <gasps> the foot? Wait. Is that what was stolen from the bodies? What are you doing? Browsing. Is missing from the monster's victims. Come on. Oh god, I hate the way it looks. You okay? Since when do you care? That's fair. That's very fair from Enid. The thing is still inside. Hurt. Can you walk? Oh my. Where do you come from? Dude, that was so scary. The way he ran in, I hated it. He is not the monster. Stop it. He keeps showing up right as the monster disappears. Like, it's not him. You cannot convince me that it's him. But it's also not Tyler. So is it Marilyn? But how does that make any sense? So is there just like one thing going on? What the hell happened? Oh God, this is bad. I'm okay. Sheriff, I understand you're upset, but I think you need to see something. He's gonna be gone. <gasps> it's it all, all gone. Oh man. All signs pointed to this house and I was right. Is that your justification for almost getting my son and your friends killed? Huh? Yes. 
Now you listen to me. You are forbidden from seeing Tyler and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Understood? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm very, very confused. So Marilyn is probably Laurel, right? Like, I think I'm correct on that. But she's also the monster? Which is grounds for expulsion, I know. And you have every right to exercise that option. But? I do believe it would be a grave error on your part. Her nerve. Is this why he tried to kill you? His yep. mother drew it before she died. Said I was destined to destroy the school. So like, please don't expel me. Enid and Xavier are spared as well. No more negotiation. Good night. <laughs> she's leaving? No way she's leaving. Where are you going? Yoko's room. Oh, she's moving to her new room? You will use anyone to get what you want, even if it means putting them in danger. Yeah. Always put myself out there. Thought of your feelings. Told people, I know she gives off serial killer vibes, but she's really just shy. Really just shy? That's what friends do. They don't have to be asked. And the fact that you don't know that says everything. Oh, this is so sad. You want to be alone Wednesday? Be alone. No, I love that friendship. Could he warn that I was destined to be alone? Maybe it's inevitable. I, I don't know. It's your personality, sweetie. If you change a little bit of your personality, you don't have to be alone. That death is close at hand. Yikes. Watching me. Oh god, what is it? Oh god, what is it? Oh no way, that is so creepy, I love it. That house, that family, Crackstone, the monster. Is it all connected? We all seem to be connected like a spider's web. Yeah, I'm so confused though. Oh, it's the mayor. Too close to the truth. The <gasps> no way, they came to finish the job. Know this. I will find you. I will find you. Okay, but it's not me, so don't look at me, even though I am watching you, technically. Well, that was hell of an episode, but also I'm so confused. Okay, so it's all connected, but connected in what way? Because, like, okay, so the house has the monster's, you know, body parts in it. We still don't know why they need the body parts. The monster was there, which would imply that whoever lives there is the monster. But then, is that Marilyn then? Because I thought there would be like multiple things, like how, you know, Wednesday said it's all connected. So I thought we have the monster, we have Marilyn, we have the prophecy, and then we have Joseph Crackstone. But is it all just one person? So like Marilyn is a descendant of Joseph Crackstone, so she's going to be the one who's in the prophecy or like trying to burn the school down. She's also the monster and she's also the one who killed the coroner and now the mayor. Is it really just one person? Because I thought it was like multiple people doing multiple different things that would come together in the end. So I am a little unsure, but I'm enjoying it so much. Like we got a lot of information in this one. A lot of new things are happening and the mayor is freaking dead. So that's fun. But yeah, we're only two episodes away from the end. So I'm excited. I feel like we're getting so close to figuring things out and I'm absolutely loving this mystery. Also, I really hate seeing Enid and Wednesday fight, but Enid is so right. Like I'm proud that she's standing up for herself and is leaving Wednesday because everything Wednesday did in this episode was a little shitty, you know, just lying to her, lying to Tyler, getting them into this dangerous situation. It's just not cool whatsoever. I feel like if she had just been honest, they would have come with her because why not, right? Like they're her friends, so they would wanna help her. But a little bit of honesty, would go a long way. So it was really, really messed up of her to manipulate and lie to them. And I felt bad for both Enid and Tyler. Like Tyler was so excited. Y'all saw his little smile when he thought he was gonna get to go on a date with Wednesday and then for it turned into this. It just sucks really badly. So yeah, I wonder how Tyler is gonna be acting in the next episode because I wouldn't blame him if he was mad at Wednesday like whatsoever. But yeah, other than Enid and Tyler being angry at Wednesday, this was a really, really good episode. I really loved it and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.